Hi kids. So now let's read out our problem statement. The statement says there are 24 cars and motorcycles in a car park. There are total 76 wheels. How many motorcycles are there and how many cars are there? So this is a very simple problem. We have total 24 cars and motorcycles altogether and there are total 76 wheels. Okay, as all of us know, cars have four wheels and motorcycles have two wheels each, right? If all of them, all 24 of them are cars, how many wheels will be there altogether? There will be, if all of them are cars, there will be 24 multiplied by 4, 4 for the 16, 1 carried forward, 4 to the 8 plus 1, 96 wheels, right? And if all of them are bikes, there should be 24 multiplied by 2, that is 2 for the 8 and 2 to the 4, 48 wheels. Isn't it? Yes. So, all of them are neither cars nor bikes. There is a mix of both of them. It's very clear from these two statements. Right? Now, let's try to solve it. So, now let's start from the first case where we are assuming all of them are cars. If all of them are cars, there should be 96 wheels. That means we have actually consumed 96 minus 76 that is total 20 wheels extra. If all of them are cars, there should be 96 wheels. But there are total 76 wheels. That means if all of them are cars, we have used or utilized 20 extra wheels. Now we have to convert those cars into cars which are four wheelers into two wheelers that is bikes. So if we remove two two wheels from each car, we are actually converting that four wheeler into a two wheeler which is a bike. So to make the count as 76, we have to remove these 20 wheels from those cars and we have to remove two two wheels from each vehicle. So from how many vehicles we have to remove wheels to get our count of wheels as 76. Yes, we have to remove two wheels from each vehicle. That means we have to remove 20 divided by 2 that is 10. We have to remove two wheels from 10 vehicles to convert them into motorcycle. Then how many cars will be there? The total number of cars will be 24 minus 10 that is 14 cars. First we have assumed that all of them are cars. But if we assume that there should be 96 wheels that is 20 more than the number of wheels which were given to us. So what will we do? We will remove two two wheels from each cars each car and convert them into motorcycles. Every time we remove two wheels from a vehicle which is a four wheeler, we are actually removing that particular vehicle from the car pool and putting it into the motorcycle pool. So since there were 20 extra wheels in our assumption that all of them are cars, so we have to remove these 20 wheels. If we remove these 20 wheels, from 2 to each, we will get 10 motorcycles and since we have total 24 vehicles, so 24 minus 10 will still be cars and these 10 will be motorcycles, right? So now let's verify our answer. If this is the case, number of wheels should match with 76. If there are total 10 motorcycles, how many wheels will be there? Yes, 10 multiplied by 2, that is 20. Right? And if there are, four, there are 14 cars, how many wheels will be there? 14 multiplied by 4, that is 4 fours are 16, 
1 carry forward, 4 ones are 4 plus 1, 5, 56 wheels. And what is the total? 0 plus 6, 6 and 5 plus 2, 7. Yes, we are getting total 76 wheels if there are 10 motorcycles and 14 cars. So, we have 10 motorcycles and 14 cars in the car park.